Frankfurt AM Main, Germany on Wednesday said it aimed to become the world's number one in green hydrogen technology, betting the fuel produced by renewable energy sources can both reduce carbon emissions and stimulate Europe's top economy. For reasons related to our competitiveness but above all to reach our ambitious climate goals, ministers have agreed to pump €9 billion Euros $10. 2 billion of government cash into the technology, Economy Minister Peter Altmaier told reporters in Berlin. 7 billion euros will go on supporting hydrogen's entry into the market in Germany, while a further 2 billion euros are earmarked for international partnerships, Altmaier added. Green hydrogen is seen by Berlin as a key link in the chain between renewable energy generation and end users, allowing easy storage and transport of power generated from the sun or wind. So-called green hydrogen is produced by electrolysis, using renewable electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, rather than being obtained from fossil sources, as the gas historically has been. Possible applications for the new fuel include production of climate-neutral steel, storage of energy for the winter, or powering road vehicles as an alternative to battery electric drive. Altmaier said by 2030, Germany aims to build 5 gigawatts of hydrogen-producing capacity nationwide, rising. Ministers also hope to export the technology and know how to produce green hydrogen to other countries supporting fossil fuel exporting nations and developing countries in building up hydrogen production means new markets for German builders of industrial plants, which would in turn feed Germany. The Made in Germany seal of quality should be stamped on green hydrogen technology, agreed Research Minister Anja Karliczek. With the launch of its hydrogen strategy in the midst of economic recovery debates, Germany shows that long-term investments in zero-carbon technologies are a necessary part of the crisis response, said Claudia Kempfert of Berlin think tank DIW. The gas would replace coke and pulverized coal as a reducing agent to remove oxygen from iron ore, producing water rather than climate-changing carbon dioxide. Set to come online in the mid-2020s, the first unit will produce climate-neutral steel sufficient to build 50,000 cars, said Tussenkrupp Steel Chief Bernard Osberg. You can't achieve a comparable climate protection effect with green hydrogen anywhere else than steel, he added. Tussenkrupp plans to make all its steel output climate-neutral by 2050. Some observers warned that the government was lining up too broad a swathe of target industries as potential clients for green hydrogen. Green hydrogen will be a scarce resource, said energy and climate expert Konstantin Zerger of Germany's Der Environmental NGO. It should not be used in sectors that have alternatives for decarbonization at hand. This goes for cars and heating in buildings in particular. Quote. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, then press like button. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for notifications.